What's up guys, Paul here from Ecommerce Gold and in this video I'm going to be doing another quick Shopify tutorial for you, specifically looking at how to set up collections within the Shopify system as there's a couple of ways we can go about doing this. I'm also going to cover how you can put these collections on the front end of your site in your navigation bar. So with the introduction out of the way let's jump into my computer and get this tutorial started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to sign into your Shopify dashboard. Now if you haven't already signed up with Shopify I'll leave my partner link in the description below so you can go and get a 14 day free trial with the Shopify platform but if you are already signed up to Shopify what you want to do is you want to go into products and then you want to go into collections. Now as I said there are a couple of ways you can set up collections within Shopify and the first one I'm going to do is a manual collection because this is arguably the easiest way to set up a collection when you're just getting started with Shopify. So we're going to click the create collection button and we're going to call this men's rings. Now the reason why I'm going for men's rings is in my last video I created a few products to show you how to create different products within Shopify and if you want to go and check that out I'll leave a link in the card above and also leave a link in the description below but make sure you watch this video first before you go and watch that one. So once you set the title up you can enter a description for the collection if you want to. This does have some SEO benefits but you don't have to do it. So then you come down to the collection type and as you can see there's two different collection types but for this one we're just going to do a manual collection. So once you've clicked manual collection it'll remove all the options for the automated and then what you can do if you want you can edit the SEO for your collection so you can edit the title, the description and this is the description that goes in your meta description which shows up on search results and you can also edit your URL handle. Once you've gone through and set up all the SEO you can also come in and add an image to this collection if you want to but we're not going to do that for this tutorial and then we'll click save. So that's create a collection for men's rings and once you've saved the collection what you'll be able to do is then go in and add the products to this collection and you'll be able to search through your products and you can either start typing it or you can use the browse feature and for this I'm going to just use the browse feature click on men's signet rings and add this product to the collection and as you can see this product adds to this collection so once you've added the product it will automatically update the collection you don't have to manually save it the only reason you'd click save is if you actually go through and you're editing the title or description or images or anything like that when you're just going through and adding products it automatically updates it for you so that's how you create a manual collection really easy really simple you can also go in and do this on a product basis as well if you want to add the products that way to the collection so we'll go into all products we'll click on men's jewelry coaching as an example and when that appears if you start typing in the collections or you highlight the collections box you'll see all the collections you have available and for this one we could add it to men's rings if we want to this is a useful way to set up collections especially if you set up collections before you start creating your products because when you're creating your products you can just come in and add them to collections this way really easy way to do it so that's the manual collections but what about the automated collections because these are a little bit more complicated the reason for this is they work on conditions that you create so for this one we're going to do men's watches and once again we're going to leave everything else blank we're only going to concentrate on how to set up the actual collection and when it comes to collections there are conditions you set yourself and these can be based on a variety of different things that you set up within the Shopify system. So you can do it on product tags and I'll show you how to set those up in a minute but there's lots of other things you can do. You can set it up on things within the product title, uh, the product type, the vendor, the price, the weight, inventory levels. There's quite a few different things you can set them up on and there's also rules within all of these so if it's in the product tag it'll be equal to but if it's in the product title for example it'll be contains or is equal to and what this means is any of these rules you set up so for this one we're going to set it up under product type is equal to and we're going to set up watch so any product type that we set up under the watch rule will be automatically added to this collection and you can set up multiple rules within a collection so if we wanted to set up this one so it was men's watches uh, for less than £100 what we'd do is we'd add another condition and we'd set this under product price 
and we'd go is less than because we want it under 100 pound and then we'd set it up as 100 pound and then what they'll do is they'll automatically add any products that matches these conditions so any product with the product type of watch and any product that has that product type of watch that is less than 100 pound will automatically be added to this collection so what we can do is we can click save on that one and that will create this collection and as you can see it's automatically added the watch to this collection that i created in the last video so this is a really good way once you get used to it of actually having products automatically added to a collection i didn't really like this setup to start with but once i actually got used to it and how to set up these collections and how to use these conditions and rules it is a really effective way and a really quick way to organize your inventory and as you see there's two options on this one so if it's all conditions it means the product must match all these conditions so with this setup for this collection it must match watch and be less than 100 pound but if you had it under any condition it'd be any product that fell into either of these conditions so to get it accurate and stop any unwanted products falling into unwanted collections i think it's better to stick with the all conditions option because it just makes life so much simpler so that is how you set up a automated collection and you can set up lots of different collections so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to create another automated collection to go through this again and what we're going to call this one is we're going to call this men's accessories just change these to capitals so it looks a bit better so we've got men's accessories it's an automated collection and what we're going to have is this based on a product tag so the product tag is equal to and we're going to have men's accessories so any product that contains this tag men's accessories will appear within this collection so we'll click save and then that collection is created now what you'll see here is there's no products added to this collection this is because i haven't added the tags to the products yet and there's a couple of ways you can go about adding tags so you can either do this on an individual basis so we can click on this product the watch and then under product tags here we could add men's accessories if we wanted to and that would do it on a product by product basis but there's actually a way you can do this to multiple products at the same time using the product editor within shopify so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to all products we're going to select men's seiko watch and we're going to select men's signet ring and then what we're going to do is we're going to click this edit products button and then as you can see i've already selected tags but I'll remove that to show you what it's like to actually add a tag. So this is how it comes up as standard. So you've got your SKU code, your price, and you can pair up price. These are the default ones that appear in your bulk products editor. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the drop down menu. Under attribution, we're going to click tags. And what this will do is it will add another field to this bulk editor. All you want to do is click on it and enter whatever your tag is. So for this one, it's men's accessories. Press enter. Click on men's signet rings. Enter men's accessories again. And then once the tags are in, what we're going to do is we're going to click save and you'll add the tags to these products. So then if we go back into the collections under men's accessories, these products have now appeared because under the automated collection, it's picked up that we've created these tags and it's added the products with these tags into this collection. So that's how it works to set up an automated collection. It's worth playing around with it when you're getting started with Shopify or you're setting up your collections. Get used to the conditions and get used to the rules that you can set up because it does make organizing your inventory really quite easy because you know that if you're going to set it by vendor or you're going to anything that you include in the product title it's automatically going to add that product to a collection so it's up to you which way you want to do it, whether you want to set up your collections manually so they work similar to a traditional like category system or if you want to use the automated collections and you just do it based off rules that you create so how do you add these to your navigation bar? Because it's something that a lot of people don't really seem to know how to do. And another thing is, is how do you create sub collections? Because as you can see from this page, there's no option to add this as a parent or sub collection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate to online store, click on the navigation menu, and then we're gonna edit the main menu.
Now, as you can see, I've already created in a heading in the navigation bar called Men's, and this is set to all products, just to make life simple for this tutorial. So if we go into the front end of the site, click on Men's, it'll bring up all the products. Now, why it's a bit strange with Shopify is when you add a sub item to this menu heading, this menu heading doesn't become clickable anymore. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another item to the menu and what you can do is you can name this, so we'll call this men's accessories, and we'll search for a link. So you go onto this, click collections, and I'm gonna choose men's accessories. And then we can add that to the menu, and it will add this menu item. And to make it a subsection of another menu heading, all you do is just drag it up, and you'll see that there's a purple bar appear. And what you wanna do is you wanna drag this across so it just moves off to the side, and it will create a sub menu for that heading. So what we're gonna do is we'll click save on that, go back into the front end of our site, refresh the page and you'll see this arrow appears. But when you actually click on the men's heading, which used to take you to this page, so we'll go back to home page. If you actually click on men's, which before would take you back to all the products that are listed on the site, if you click on men's, it just produces a drop down menu which takes you to all the products that have got men's accessories included, which we set up in that previous collection. So this means that it makes the menu headings basically not clickable. So if you were setting up a collection and you wanted men's accessories as the top level and then men's rings and watches underneath it, you're gonna have to set it up in the following way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an item to the men's section. And what we're gonna do is gonna search for the link, search for collections and we'll add men's rings and you can see it auto fills the name for you based off the name of the collection click add and to make this a section under men's accessories what we're going to do once again is grab these six dots here and we're just going to drag it across so it moves over to the side and this makes it a subsection of men's accessories and what we'll do is we'll add another item here and we'll add the men's watches so i can show you what this looks like on the front end of the site so add that one in, and as you can see, now we've got two sub collections under the main men's accessories. So we'll click save on that one. Go back to the front end of the site, go back to the home page, and as you see under men's, now we've got the main heading, which is men's accessories, but then we've got two sub collections under that main section. So we've got men's accessories, which includes everything that has the men's accessories tag that we set up. But if you click on men's rings, it'll just display the men's signet ring. And then if you go to men's watches, it'll display the watch that we set up. So that is how you add your collections into your navigation menu and you can also set them up as sub collections. So I hope this video makes sense and you understand now not only how to create collections, both manual and automated, but also how to set them up in your navigation bar as well. So you can set them up as parent and child collections. I hope I haven't waffled on too much and I hope I've explained this as clearly as I can. Um, but go and try it for yourself. Um, follow the instructions I've set out in this video and you'll understand exactly how to set it up. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like on the video. Also consider subscribing to the channel because I post content like this every single week. So thank you so much for watching guys. Stay awesome and I'll see you all in the next video.